It's a process of developing a very specific question and being able to answer it and that many other people can't. Um, in my head, I see the process of research as an upside down pyramid. You have a very broad question that you start with and over time as you read literature and collect your own data, you're able to develop a very specific question. So for example, in what I do, I was interested in understanding why some patients with breast cancer don't respond well to radiation therapy. And by reading the literature and collecting my own data, I've been able to narrow down that question into why does this specific protein induce radio resistance in breast cancer? And that process of collecting data, reading literature to answer that question um, has been a really exciting process. And then when you have that opportunity to share it with other individuals, whether it's at a conference or even someone in the elevator, it's really exciting to be able to share that, um, for that unique perspective of how you're able to collect the data to eventually answer that question. And I think that's the most exciting part about research that very few other fields have the opportunity to, to do, um, is the idea of being able to contribute to the expansion of our scientific knowledge and take ownership in the fact that you've been able to do that.